This is a crew that's been working with me for over four years now. Doris works with us full time, and Doris has one of the best noses on the crush pad. So what she's doing is pre-sorting the grapes before the pickers even pick. And it's our last day of harvesting Zinfandel. So very auspicious day. Do you get a little sad to see it go, or are you happy to see where it's gonna end up? Well, there's where my farmer and my winemaker you know, the farmer in me says, yay, <laughs> we got it all up, it's in good shape, it's a wonderful thing. The winemaker in me says, oh man, the process is just starting, oh my god, I've got a lot of work to do. This is what's called punching down, and we use a tool that basically takes, you know, what we're doing is breaking the cap, so that's a good eight inches where the berries have come up during the last few hours. Actually, it's still fermenting very much. See the bubbles in there? That's, that's, that is CO2 popping off the surface. So CO2 and alcohol are the byproducts of fermentation. And this tank is very healthy. And this is what we do at least once, if not several times a day, is we measure the amount, the approximate amount of sugar still left in the vine, in the, in the juice. So this is the way that we track the fermentation. And then we also track what it tastes like. And one of the things I like about Zinfandel is that it can be quite, both quite savory and also quite zippy in flavor and character and texture. And one of the things for me that makes it pretty zippy is that some of my berries I don't crush some of my berries before I start to ferment. I let them actually ferment in the berry, and you have to taste. Okay. Taste it. It's a whole berry, and, and it's eat been the whole thing? you eat the whole thing. Seeds too. Well, you can spit mm. the seeds out of it. Isn't that tasty? That's Isn't so that good. zippy? That's it's zippy. I'll taste the juice. Okay. And it, will this taste just sort of like grape juice? Or? Uh, no, it'll taste like it has alcohol in it. Oh, okay. And does it have alcohol in this it? This has point? alcohol. This is this is fermenting Zinfandel juice. The final bottle of wine will probably have about 14% alcohol. This right now has about 10%. 10%. Okay. So, so you we're have not to be 21 quite... to drink this. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well over 21 here. One of the best things about about wine is that you can be in the vineyard growing your grapes, which I do right here. You can make the wine right here, essentially also in my backyard. And then you can welcome visitors to taste the finished wine. There are very, if any, other businesses in the entire world that are that vertically organized, and I love it.